everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a day of caring for my baby chicks and the chicks. I um, have, um, oh gosh, I should start all over again, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not prepared for this. I'm prepared, but not prepared. I'll start again. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a quiet day. I did my usual, which is get up, have coffee. Oh, I don't like this. This is, this is, <laughs> this is really sad. I did all the things that I normally do, um, except I washed a chicken butt today, if that's, that's a little different. Today I was um, checking on the bearded lady, and I'm thinking, gee, I don't see any of those big poops, because when the chickens go in the morning, they do a real big, real big morning poop. And there wasn't any, and I'm thinking, where are her morning poops? So I picked her up. You know, she's letting me, she really is being very docile, so I don't know whether she's getting sicker, or she's just getting used to me. I'm not sure which, because she was too compliant. And so when I picked her up, here's this blob of poop stuck to her feathers. So I got a piece of paper and tried to clean it off. Well, the paper wasn't going to work. So I had to take her into the bathroom and I had to wash her bottom. So I'm taking poop right off her, right off of her and rinsing it down the drain. And do I have gloves on? No, I don't have gloves on. Do I ever have gloves on? Hardly ever. <laughs> Does that sound gross? Oh yeah, to a lot of you, because you know, uh, you just wash your hands with soap and water, and it's it's okay. Think of it as your babies. Yeah, you did you put? Well, some people put gloves some on. Some people do, but a lot they, of people don't. And when the baby gushes out of the diaper and it gushes onto you, it's kind of like that, I guess. But anyways, I washed the little chickie's butt, and I put a paper towel there to dry it up a little bit. I you usually would blow dry, but she's not in any mood to be blow dried, so I don't want to traumatize her any further. I watched a lot of videos. I put them along in my in my bar up above on the computer as I was answering my comments. And Emmy was the last one I answered, and it was like a minute before three o'clock. And I did stop at my three o'clock time. I also was doing some crocheting. I wanted to, I watched Karina Anna's second part of her video to do the little blessing doll, and we're this far now. So, Karina Anna, I've got my little blessing doll. I've got it. I've got her done to this point. She's done. I'll put her there. And I started another one. I thought, well, I might as well start another one, so I've got another one going. I didn't crochet, or I mean knit, on my scarf today, but it's really getting close. I have, I have about, oh, I don't know how much further I have to go. Let me see. I'm measuring it up to the, to the one that I've already, that I wear. It's got about this much more to go, and then it will be long enough, because it goes all the way to the bottom. So that's what I did today, and I didn't knit, but I should knit. I could finish this tonight. This could be done, and I could wear it soon. And the thing is, I was looking at it, and I suppose it will go with red. I don't know. It's got red in it. It's got every color of the rainbow almost in it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and a real deep violet. But they don't have indigo. <laughs> You know, what happened to that indigo in the in the rainbow? They used to say there's seven colors in a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then indigo and violet. Well, they've taken out indigo, just like with the planets. They've taken away Pluto because they say he's, he's not a real planet. He's something else. I don't know what he is. But how are they supposed to, how are we supposed to know when you're helping your kids with schoolwork how many planets there are and how many colors in the rainbow if they keep changing things. They can't keep changing things. They've got to leave them the same. Otherwise, I will forget and not know. Uh, today, I let Emma and uh, Dorothy out of the chicken house. 
So I'm gonna put that little video in right here so you can see them. Today, I opened the door to see if the mamas wanted to bring the babies down. And it's dual parenting again. This is so darn cute. Oops, I'm stepping on the water. Whoa. Okay, there's the babies. The four, four little babies. Three of them are Dorothy's and one of them is Anna, Emma's, but they're taking care together. These two are them are very mild birds, so there should be no fighting over these babies. Yeah, look at you. I don't know whose is whose because they're both taking care. Oh, maybe they're, now we see whose is whose. These three are Dorothy's and that one over there that went to follow Emma must be Emma's. And they're digging. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're so tiny. They're like they're like little golf balls. And they're a week old. Look how big. Yes. Blackie, your babies I was trying to get, but your babies walked away. Compared to Emma's babies. Look at them. Oh, Emma, it's okay. Look how tiny they are. They're just itty bitties. Hello there, little one. You're, you're a star. I think there's two girls and two boys in this batch. Not sure yet, but by the tail growth, it looks like it. Okay, Emma and Dorothy. Let me see if I can get these other babies. Whoa, Blackie's babies run. There's Blackie's babies. Oh, Blackie. Get you in the corner. Come on, you can come past me. These are Blackie's babies. They're the next size up. <clears throat> They're about a week older than Mr. Brown. Hi, Emma. Oh no, don't be peck. don't peck at me. I wanna see your baby. My rooster has lost his beautiful feathers. He looks stumpy. If you had that kind of a look, your name would have been Stumpy. Huh, pretty boy? The babies are doing really good. Emma and Dorothy were acting like they wanted out of the chicken house, so I opened up the gate, and I opened opened it up. I took the, actually, it's a little dog gate that I have across the doorway so that the other hens will not bother them while they're in the little house. Well, I took it down, and tonight I'll have to put the other dog house on the ground because those two mamas and the babies will have to sleep in the dog house tonight because they are too small to get back up into the house, I think. I don't think they would go back up in there, but then again, maybe they would. But I'm going to put the mm -hmm. dog house yeah. out so that they at least have something down low to sleep in. The chickens last night were making a ruckus. It's like they can't settle themselves. And one of the Asamanis was coming outside. I have two of them. And I know it was the younger of the two. It wasn't Rosie, but it was the other one. She was coming out because there was so much noise and commotion. And I thought, oh, gee, I was just about ready to lock it in. And out the door she comes because I try to remember to lock them in at night so that they don't, so that they're safe. Oh, this is a rambling ramble, so I guess mm -hmm. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.